Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games. Now, this is a special episode because this is the first video that I'm recording after my dog Sakura has passed away. And instead of just being like thinking about it and not doing anything with myself, she would want me to do something that I love, something that she watched me do every single time when I first started doing YouTube. And she was always in the room, um, like in the first few years that I started doing this. So she would want to see me be happy and doing what I'm passionate about. About, which is creating YouTube videos and I'm in a good mood I feel like great energy within me and I feel just great energy in this room so we are gonna do another free random games episode against cool day down with that everybody get ready and buckle up cuz here we go First game of today's episode is called the Wheat Harvest Paradox. It looks cool, but the question is, is it cool? I mean, the rain is falling up, so something definitely weird is going on. And it says, one day, a meteorite fell into one of the poorest cities, which mixed two directions of time. This is the usual one that goes forward and reverse time. Because of this, a temporary chain was formed in which the direction of time changes every day. You got that? Because I sure didn't. I don't need to sleep now. Didn't ask. Don't care. And let me talk to you. Oh, another reverse day. We sure are to survive. We sure are. Hello, chef. How do you do? Good morning, combiner. Or rather evening. Cause it's a reverse day. I remind you that at the end of the day, you must exchange the wheat harvest for our currency wheat coin. I don't have wheat coin. Is that a cryptocurrency, my mans? This says bread, water, only on normal days. But today is the reverse day. All right, I'm going outside, everybody. I'm already confused. My brain hurts. But let me talk to the people on this reverse day. So let me talk to you. Huh. I managed to come up with a formula to charge my invention, which will break the time loop. And time will be normal forever. True, I need a lot of wheat to make fuel for my invention from it. I hope you can collect so much wheat. I accept wheat in the form of coins. I'll exchange them with the chef later. To complete my invention that will save us, I need 200,000 wheat. Are you insane? Hello, I'm a mechanic and I take care of your combine. Remember, this field has a reversed copy of you and the combine. I can also upgrade your combine to harvest faster and better. Here you can take a look at the available upgrades that work for wheat coins. So we have an engine, increases the movement speed, costs 4,000 bones, steering wheel increases turning speed, cutting bar size increases harvest coverage, and cutting bar quality improves the quality of the crop, increases its cost. I got you, sir. All right. So I need to collect wheat, but I have no idea how to do it because I haven't done it in real life, so I damn sure don't know how to do it in this game. But let me just keep talking to people, and let's see what happens. I can't talk to you, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, I apologize. Hello, Mr. Snazzy looking jazzy. Never mind, I can't talk to you. I can talk to you, though. Oh, Combiner, all hope is in you. One day we'll get out of here. Okay, no more BS, everybody. What do I do? Enter. There you go. So that's how I start getting the wheats. So required minimum 40% current direction time backward. Okay. Am I getting wheat? I am getting wheat. Oh, this is easy. This is way too easy. Okay, so in no time, I'll have that invention ready, and then we can fix this weird-ass time loop. I will sell 4,718 of the wheat for 9,436. Yes, sir. I need to go to sleep. Oh, okay. My bad. Work is never done sometimes. So let me sleep on my bed that has my shit stains underneath, and then now we're going to see what a regular day looks like. I don't need to sleep now. I know that. Let's see what you have to say. Nothing? And then what about you? You don't have to say anything as well. Did this change? That didn't change. We always got to get this bread. That's priority number one. But I do have these upgrades so I can increase the movement and then increase the turning speed, increase harvest coverage. I would love to do that. And this one improves the quality of the crop, increases its cost. Okay, I think I should upgrade the last one first because you definitely want to have like the highest cost. Oh, what the? Who was that? Is that my direct competition? All right, I'm gonna visit that dude in his bed tonight. And not like that, you sickos. I'm talking about with a nine millimeter strapped up. This bitch. Oh my goodness, what are we doing? Mario Kart, stop bumping into me, you freak. I'm about to get a red shell on this bitch. People on normal days are assholes. Like on the reverse day, nobody was messing with me. But on a normal day, look at this freaking butthole. He just keeps crashing into me. All right, I reached the bare minimum. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it into the chef. 
and kisses for the chef. There you go. And I'm going to improve the quality of my crop on the next day because I think that's going to be one of the most useful things. I'm going to upgrade the cutting bar quality and that one's 12,000. That's a sick joke. Your mom's 12,000. This is actually pretty relaxing. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like I don't actually see the wheat being collected, but it's pretty relaxing. I don't know why. Maybe I should play those farm simulator type of games because I feel like I'm unlocking a hidden passion or something. I've been recording for 13 minutes, so I want to see how long it's going to take me to get 200,000. But the fact that I'm getting higher prices for my quality of wheat, I want to see what I'm actually going to get from the chef. 17, that wow. Okay, that's actually pretty damn good. So let me upgrade the cutting bar quality again. Is that guy walking backwards? Wait, is this reverse day? No, it's forward day. But this dude is moonwalking right into my freaking thing. All right, 62% is enough. I want to see what I'm going to get. Because I upgraded it two times, 47,000. But let me upgrade this one more time right there. And then I don't have 40,000. But increase the harvest coverage. I guess that's good. And then increase his movement speed. And yeah, I think the point of the, like the first five days is to just keep increasing whatever the hell that I'm driving. This wheat truck. And look how fast I am. Like, I'm also wee type shit. I'm actually going to go to 70% because I use two upgrades to try to do the harvesting coverage so I can, you know, cover more per every roll I do with my little harvester thing. So let me actually see how much 70% can get me, 100,000. Okay, so I just got to do it one more time. I didn't think a game about forward and reverse time looping days and harvesting wheat in order to exchange it for currency would be any fun, but if my boner has anything to say... Anyway... Let me talk to the chef, and we sold that, and we got 230,000, baby, wee wee see see. All right, buddy, it's time to have a talk. To complete my invention that will save us, I need 200,000. There you go. This dude better not be pulling a fast one on me, because I will kill. I have killed for a lot less, and that freaking goose, what is that? That cost 200,000? Look like a nine-year-old made that. How do you need 200,000 to make that work? That doesn't even make any sense. All right, go ahead. Fire the cannon. So wait, a meteor happened to be falling to Earth as I was able to accumulate all that money and you shot that beam just in time. So what? Next game today's episode is called The Hall. It's a Pac-Man style horror game. The only reason why I even wanted to play this was because the Pac-Man looked really creepy. It just looked like a mutated version of my left nut. So here we go. There's no exit here. And it says shift or left controller to run, left mouse button to interact. Okay, so I'm ready to go. Let's get to it and we're already dropped in. Okay, so find the exit door. You need 15 orbs to open it. So I already found one right here. How do I get you? How do I... How do I get that? Oh, there you go. How did I do that? Hold on. Um, oh, I have to stand right over it? It's one of the dumbest things I've ever freaking seen. Okay. Well, there's blood over there. That person's not gonna be in the hall, too. But, oh god. Already? Bro, already? What the... Bro, chill! Oh my god! Man, come on. Oh, really? Oh, I can still move. No, okay, this dude's eating my asshole out. Love this elevator music, though. It's kind of groovy, baby. All right, so we're going to pick up one of these. And then I'm going to take another one of these. It's so awkward picking it up. But I guess he could smell the fear. Because as soon as I picked up a couple orbs, he was already in my direction. Like, horny milfs in my area. Where you at? Where you at, you big son of a bitch? You ain't nowhere to be found? That's what I thought. You're not like that. You're not him. I'm him. Uh-oh. Run, 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 run. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. This is no me gusta. I have five orbs. I'm like a third of the way there. But this guy, I know. I, I already know. There's a freaking hand mark right there. How do you have a hand mark right there? Like, at what point in being chased by this thing do you touch that? I got seven orbs. If I beat this... Uh-oh. Why did that thing open? It sounded like a door open. And they just unleashed the hounds or something. Let me go this way. If I reach a dead end, though, I'm fooked. Capital F. What is this? What in the world? Can I get that? Give me that. Tracker obtained with the right mouse button or pick up the... What? Tracker distance. Why did I do that? Wh Hold on. Wait. Okay, wait. I think I know what this is. So, I'm going to use it to find the exit, maybe? I don't know. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But that's cool that we can get some items. So at least I have a little bit of help. I feel like once you're closer to getting 15, this dude's on that ass like stink. There you go. Get that. And then 13. 14. Come on, bitch! Damn! Sorry. One more. One more, everybody. One more. One more. He's over there, isn't he? He's like on this side. Right? Yep. You son of a bitch. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. no way, right? No way. Yes way, yes way. I completely effed myself. And now I'm dead! Come on, man, please. Dude, really. I got this, everybody. This is not even scary. I've taken shit scarier than this, but it says survivor of the month, the only one actually, Matt Carpenter. That's a weird way to spell my name because I'm about to clear this right now. Watch this. Wait, is this the exit? Put orbs into the port with left mouse button. Oh, okay. So let me keep that there because that's where the exit is. So I think that's the purpose of the tracker is so you don't get lost when you're trying to finish what you started. So now I can just run through the maze and do what I need to do. But then once I finally get all the orbs, I'll know exactly where I need to go. Whoa. That was creepy. What was that? Sound like an alien from another planet. What the heck? Hold on. What else are we dealing with here? Shit. shit, 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 shit. He saw me. He saw me. He saw me. He saw me. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Is there really no escaping? Once he finds you, there's really no escaping? It's really like that. Bro, he's really like that. You got a homing device right on my ass cheeks. Hold on, there's no freaking way. Come on, man. There's no way. All right, let me just run. Let me run. Come on, 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 come on. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep. I'm clapped. I'm clapped. I'm clapped. I went right into him. Last game of today's episode is called Dark Siren, and I'm playing this for the storyline. And YouTube, if you demonetize this, that means you are against the natural body because there's nothing wrong with this game, all right? So, let me click start and let us begin. Sirens were once dangerous beings who lured sailors into the sea. Now, through a pact with humans, I couldn't even... Wow. Now they do not lure sailors into the sea, sink the entire ship. I have no idea what that means. It sounded like I said some kind of spell, but how are you supposed to read through that first thing? I was reading it pretty fast too. And this is me? This fuck boy? All right, I guess. I mean, it is what it is. I think I'm one of the sailors, right? But one thing I do know about sailors, you're not allowed to have your hair longer than I think like two or three inches. My head is confused. Where is this place? Let's look around first. Okay, so I need to find 20 sailor's notes, and the graphics aren't bad. I'm not gonna lie. And I have ammo. What am I reading right over there? Temptation 6? Okay, what about Temptations Volume 1 through 5? You already used those? Hold on. Let's see what we got over here. Oh my goodness. Am I just walk- Oh. Okay, cutscene. Here we go, everybody. Hello? What are you doing? Wait, where did you pop in from? There's like a dead end over there. Alright, whatever. Hello? Are you Dark Siren? Are you the one that they tell me to worry about? Avoid the Dark Siren and collect the Sailor's Notes. Okay, I will. So we got an achievement, the first encounter, AKA we just watched a cutscene. but let me go get the Sailor's Notes real quick. Here's the first one. It says, number one, Boat Swain's Notes. According to the schedule, we should have already reached our destination. The captain told me to keep it a secret because sailors could be unstable, but the vice captain seems to be dissatisfied with the captain's words. Hmm. He just hates the captain. I just want to go home and I want to see my family soon. The following note appeared somewhere. What do you mean the following note appeared? Oh, there it is. Number two, captain's memo. The ship is unable to leave this sea area. And that strange dream haunted me yesterday too. Even when I wake up from my dream, I can still hear that song from outside. Maybe I'm out of my mind when I see no one else listening, but me, it's so reluctant, but I'll have to check out the island. We are certainly wandering around the island. The singing voice is also coming from that island. God bless us. God bless me for reading that because that didn't make any sense. So now we have to find other notes, but I have to avoid some dark sirens. But do I really want to avoid them? Honestly, I'm just asking. I'm asking for a friend. I'm asking for the storyline because that's why I'm even playing this game for the amazing story. But I think that the siren popped out from that hole, right? That little hidey hole? Do sirens jump scare me? Number three, Sailor A's memo. Hey Joe, come to my room later in the evening. Harry and I got some good drinks and mungies. 
Some cargo was moved from the island where we were, temporarily anchored by the captain's order. In return, I got a good amount of rum and some munchies. What a reward for such an insignificant work. That captain is a really nice guy. Call that little John too. But seeing the amount of munchies, it would be better not to call a pat. What the heck are you even talking about? Hey, what do you mean little John? Who's little John? Hey, wait, was it little John? I got a little John. All right, here's the next note. Apprentice Sailor's Notes, mother, it's me. This is my third voyage, but I'm still not used to sea life. Everything's too rough, so I don't think it's a job that's not suitable for me who was timid. Pay is high, but I plan to quit after this voyage. And yesterday I saw the captain moving cargo from an island. I'm worried that it might be contraband. If so, wouldn't I be a sinner too? Should I report it first? To have a headache, I'll write about it later, mother. Mother's lovely son, John. All right, John. If that is your real name, I need to find 16 more freaking notes. I don't see any dark sirens. I feel like I'm not avoiding anybody. I feel like they're avoiding me. What is it? Do I offend? Do I stink? That must be it. Because I don't see anybody over here. Sailor B's memo. Belly! What did you put in drink? After drinking and snacking in your room, I keep hearing strange singing noises. I just thought I was tired. Harry said he could hear the singing too. Are you kidding me? You better blow it quickly to see what's in it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, who's talking about blowing and how are you going to do it quickly, huh? I can't even go to any settings because I was going to see if I can make it faster. Vice Captain's Memo. You stupid captain to believe in superstition. It must be that navigator. He's gruntled and freaking us. I said freaking. I'm family friendly. To take revenge for being beaten by me that evening. If we arrive, I'll use all my connections to put the damn navigator in prison. I hope the company realizes the captain's incompetence through this incident and pronounce me. Hmm. On second thought, I think this voyage will be a lot of opportunities for me. It is also important to think outside the box. <gasps> Whoa! Holy crap. Girl, 6'5". Holy moly. She walking in high heels too? I was supposed to be avoiding somebody walking around looking for me in high heels. Wait, the other note was over there? Come on, man. You're making this too easy for your boy. I don't even know why I'm supposed to be finding random notes. Shouldn't I try to escape? Confusing. What I really dreamed of was that island. When I saw its existence, I felt fate dissolved in my blood. I put it in a cargo box and had two trusted sailors take it to my room, but I don't know what to do next. And despite moving it, we couldn't get out of the sea area of this island. I brought it on this voyage to organize the luggage from the old house. I need to find my father's records. God bless us. Okay, God bless us, everyone. Hello. Does her field of view suck? They have to. Okay, she going boing boing, so I'm gonna go over here and do my thing. So, yeah, I don't know what a dark siren is, but I kind of want that action. I, I kind of do. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, why lie? Life's too short to lie. Okay, she knew exactly where I was. She heard me talking the most and doing the least. I'm just gonna go this way. And she didn't even... Did she see me? I'm confused. She's sending me mixed signals. Like, I don't even know. Did she see me? Did she not? Check the box, yes or no. If you like me, call me maybe. Okay. I'm going to go this way, everybody. And we are going to figure it out. Please do not come for me. I'm actually kind of nervous. I'm actually kind of nervous. But this is memo number eight. It says, I hear a singing voice. I saw it when moving cargo on the island. What was in that box? It's an angel. When our eyes met through the gap in the box, I almost peed my pants in surprise. I hear a song, a very beautiful song. Billy, I want to make an angel mine. I don't know why you almost peed your pants, but let's just keep that to yourself. Things that you should have kept to yourself for $1,000, Alex. Mother, I'm in trouble. Mr. Harry attacked the captain yesterday was in prison. Fortunately, the captain was not seriously injured. He couldn't hide his embarrassment. I'm so confused. Harry was a kind person who was very nice to me. Why did he act like that? I met eyes with Mr. Harry who was being captured. It didn't look like human eyes. Mother, I'm afraid I'll be able to reach the port safely. Please pray for me. Mother's lovely son, John. Little bitch boys keep calling for mommy. Like, calm the hell down. Goodness. Wait. Oh, crap. She's gonna come in here and find me, right? Right in the shitter. She's going to find me in the shitter. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna go this way, everybody. Yeah, she was about to find me. Oh, no! No! Wait! Stop! Relax! Calm down! Hey! I, I, I... Bitch! I was trying to make eye contact. Oh. Wow. Okay. Smother me timbers. Um, <laughs> that's, uh... <laughs> That's unique. Dark Siren's temptation becomes stronger. Oh, I'm still alive? Sweet. 
Okay, I thought I had to find all those notes. Oh, what? A new siren? Who are you? Where's the old siren? Wait, how come you can walk and I can't? Okay, she can power walk, but I can't? Like, things aren't adding up over here. But she's probably gonna meet me to the memo, I think. Right? Oh, she was trying to race me, but she lost. No, she's actually meeting me to the memo. I can't believe this. I kind of want to die. I'm not even going to lie. Where'd she go? Did she go in here? Lady? Siren lady? Yeah, buddy. All right. Let's read that note. Why is this ship so undisciplined? One of the sailors attacked the captain. And of course, getting attacked by a captain isn't so bad. An attack by a sailor on the captain is an obvious fragging. As the vice captain, I must be careful. After the attack, the captain barred all sailor members from entering the captain's quarters. I don't know anything else, but why did you ban access to me? I mean, I'm not a sailor. You coward! I remember when I was an officer in the Navy. I couldn't have imagined such a mess. Should I have stayed in the Navy instead of taking a job on a freighter? Wait. Where do I hear the singing voice? Who sings at a time like this? I do. What are you going to do about it? I'm on my fa la 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 shit. Leave me alone. Let me be me. Let me be great. Where the hell's that siren at? Siren? Oh, siren! Relax, 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 relax. Here. John, what the hell happened? Why did Harry attack the captain? I've known Harry for over 15 years. He's a decent guy who's never had a fight with anyone. I heard you were there. If you see this memo, come to my room. I need to hear what happened there. I need to hear what happened there, too. We're in the freaking toilets again. I'm about to get a freaking titty poo, poo sprinkle. Where you at? She's gone? Yes. Oh, she went over there. She's going to meet me at the note, isn't she? Okay, should I just go, like, behind and just see where she goes? Because I think that's the best course of action for me. Yeah. Wait. I feel like the note moved. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to get that freaking fridge memo. Right over here. Get it? It's as recorded. I heard it from my father when I was young. I thought it was a fairy tale made up for me as a child. My great grandfather's record and that agreed perfectly. Besides, one of the sailors has already been possessed by it and attacked me. Poor guy. The damn thing is not an angel, you think. What the hell is this? This is boring as shit. Hold on. Oh! She already left? Wait, so as I'm reading notes, they actually still walk around? Because when I clicked on the note, she was actually on the other side of the room. And then when I left the room, she was already past me. So I guess that even though I'm reading, the characters still move in the game. That's what I'm getting from this. But yeah, what is this? This is so stupid. Oh my gosh, what happened? I went down to have dinner for Harry who attacked the captain. He was attacked by someone and was already dead. Is there a creature in the ship? I have to tell the captain right away. How many people are going to attack this stupid ass captain? If this many people are attacking the captain, then the captain probably deserved it. Because goodness gracious, if I see one more note about attacking the captain, I'm ending this video with no outro. Hurry up and go here because I don't want to get trapped in the toilet room again. Harry, you bastard. Tried to monopolize her. She's not yours. Not even Billy or Little John's. That fat Pat, ha. Huh? That guy already has no chance. I've been trying to get rid of Harry before I kill him. How is it my strategy? Don't I deserve her? Ah, oh, damn it. I stabbed Harry first. He didn't just go. I need to go see her before I bleed more. She will save me. I'm guessing these dark sirens possess these mother suckers. See, look. They just appear out of nowhere. And now she's walking stupid fast. I don't understand that. But let me just go in here. She better not do a 180. Do a 180, see what happens. Do a 180, see what happens. There you go. You fuck around, you're gonna find out. But let me get this note. Mother, I don't know what happened to the ship now. There are loud noises and screams outside. Sometimes someone knocks on my door roughly. I write this note hiding as quietly as a mouse. Ah, oh, I can hear the singing. Even amidst these loud screams and screams. An enchanting song. Mother, goodbye then. I think I can't ever go back. Yeah, cause going back is whack. Oh crap. I'm nervous. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead. She's gonna get me. She got me. She got me. Um, I can't breathe. I'm drowning. I'm drowning in uh, boobies. Okay, phase three, Dark Siren's temptation becomes stronger. Dark Siren's appearance has changed or has not changed? Has changed, has not changed? I don't know. Either way, we're gonna find out because we only have five more notes to go. Where'd you go? Where you at? Where's that Dark Siren? It's so insane. What's up with him? He killed a man. I didn't see him as such. 
when the boat Swain and the navigator were on their way to stop him. I slipped back a tiny bit and ran away. Shall I face a madman like that? The noble me could never die with insignificant people in a place like this. Ah, the singing voice. A wonderful singing voice is heard. It's a glorious song, as if honoring my heroic achievements. I will survive. So, yeah, every time I grab a note, these people spawn. Like, that Dark Siren just spawned at the end of the hallway right there. So, I'm picking up what this game is putting down. And I guess the Dark Sirens make a song that kind of, like, make the sailors do things that they want them to do. And I'm about to get booby attacked again. I'm really gonna get booby trapped. Okay. she coming? She's not coming. Alright, we only have four more notes to go, everybody. Just hang in there with me, please. Found it! An artifact that can seal that. It was also among my father's keepsakes. Because of its unique appearance, it was etched into my brain even when I was a child. At that moment, there was a loud explosion. When I lost my balance and stumbled for a while, this time I heard a rough knock on my room's door. Rough highs and screams. As per the record, I need to seal it quickly. What the? I, when I turned my head and see it, I was holding the artifact with a meaningful smile. It must have slipped out of my hands when I just lost my balance in the explosion. I have no time to regret my immaturity. I watched as the artifact was crushed by its hands. Got screwed, it's failed. I will become a proud descendant of an embarrassed ancestor. I'm sorry, father. I blacken family name. A fool who released that cursed thing into the sea. God won't bless me anymore. Yeah, I feel like God isn't blessing me. Oh, crap. I was gonna say, I don't feel blessed reading all these damn notes. Like, these dudes are writing novels. Are they that bored on this ship? Like, calm down. If I obey Mr. Joe, I won't have a big problem. I don't have to monopolize that singing voice. If only I could have it, even if I shared it with others. That's the way I achieve what I want, even if I'm weak. I will obey and cooperate with Mr. Joe. They, my, oh my goodness. I feel like I'm gonna get a stroke reading this shit. Um, yep. I went into the freaking shitter room. Let's go this way. And I don't even hear a Dark Siren song. They're just walking around like their shit don't stink. They want to be America's Next Top Model so bad. I don't know what this is. The faces that smiled and said hello until morning became corpses and were rolling around. Barely tried to hold back, I vomiting. I went out to find people. Oh my gosh, what did I see? The Vice Captain and Joe, even the little John. They were held in the moonlight by an unknown creature. It gave me a strange smile too. I was able to come to my senses when I saw the Captain lying on the floor bleeding as if... He had given up on something. I helped the captain and entered the safe room. A story like a superstition. Stories that seemed to be in fairy tales that I saw as a child. The captain's voice. Oh my goodness. Shut up. God damn. Shut up. All right. Let me get this last note. Because this is going to be that 2020, baby. Okay, now we're finally going to know what these dark sirens are. Finally, the siren made a pact with humans and disappeared into the deep sea. However, the sirens who did not follow the decision remain and are disturbing the sea more violently than before. We called them dark siren. Dark siren is much more aggressive than the previous sirens. They do not enchant sailors and take them to the sea. They enjoy sinking the ship itself into the sea. Seduce the sailors to stab each other with improvised swords and spears and destroy their chain of command by taking out the captain. No man can resist temptation except me because there's been a few of them walking around but here I am still standing strong they're not just glamorous women they're magical creatures you don't believe it have I not tried it I tried to fill the ship with only men who hate women and I tried to fill it with only female sailors but nothing worked they have always appeared in a form that one cannot help but be fascinated by in the end the siren gave us artifacts to stop them an artifact that conceal them we split the ship and sealed the dark sirens. Many sacrifices were made, but soon the sea found peace, but I couldn't decide it was a real victory. I'm afraid this will be dismissed as an old story after a lot of time has passed. Do not disregard the mark we have left. The islands must never be landed or approached. Always listen to see if the sailors hear the song. We are ashamed of ourselves for rejoicing in the immediate peace, even after leaving a heavy burden on our descendants. My son, my grandson, good luck to you beyond. But if one day the dark sirens are released again, it might be right for us humans to abandon the sea. Found the key, you can unlock the door. Okay. Oh, crap. All right, where's the unlock door? Hold on, unlock door. Is it here? That's the exit. That's gotta be. I don't even freaking see a keyhole. Hold on. Is this it? Yes, it is. Hallelujah. And we got another achievement. It's a dark siren. It's the it's the dark siren of dark sirens, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. That's the same dark siren that was in the other hallway. Are you kidding me? What are you looking at? Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me with all that sass. What? So they come in a form that nobody can resist? 
So like six foot five women wearing nurse outfits strutting around in high heels? Are you gonna kiss me? Bro, my breath is hot. And that was Dark Siren. Because I don't think that we're playing anymore. <laughs> she seduced a man into the sinking ship and now he's just gonna die in his bed. I don't know. Normal ending. Wait, there's another ending to this horseshit? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I want to be caught. <laughs> <laughs> Alright everybody, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jake from the Cub Scouts is that dude! 